Hello everybody, this is Ariane Arsenault uh, from La Fée de la Mer Handmade Soaps in the Magdalene Islands, Quebec, Canada. Today I am attempting a recipe that I've decided to put in a drawer for many, many years because it just wasn't working out for me. Uh, I'm actually going to be making bubble bars, but about a month ago my friends Ahida Matt from Handmade in Florida thought a class uh, during the Unique Bath Body and Home Conference and she taught us how to make uh, bubble pops, which are basically uh, bubble bars, but that are designed to harden up very quickly in humid climates. The reason why I was not able to make bubble bars in the past was because they would never dry here. I live in an island surrounded by the sea. They just stayed wet and mushy for days and, and they didn't like me. <laughs> so I'm testing out her recipe today. Um, I don't know if it will be available online again or not, but um, you can surely watch her videos. I will link it right up there. And you can also follow her on Instagram and Facebook. I will leave all of the links down below. So now let's test out her recipe and see if it works for me. In the bowl, I have baking soda, cream of tartar, SLSA, and cornstarch. So these have been already uh, sifted and combined very well together. Uh, as for the liquid ingredients that are going to turn this kind of into a paste, I have a liquid surfactant. This one is cocomidopropyl betaine. This was not in the original uh, formula, but was recommended as an alternative when you don't have the, the original uh, liquid surfactant. I also have some crude cocoa butter. This one is from Baraka Shea Butter. I'm also going to include some liquid glycerin, some polysorbate 80, a fragrance oil, and that's pretty much it. The, the rest will come later when it's time to decorate these. I'm using some brambleberry silicone molds uh, to shape these bubble pops. I didn't have popsicle molds on hand, but these are a nice shape. And to test out a recipe, I think they're just perfect. Before I mix my wet ingredients together, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and melt the cocoa butter in the microwave on short bursts so that it becomes liquid. And I'm also gonna color my surfactant because I want a light tint to these bubble pops. This is hot pink water soluble dye, which is body safe, and it's from the Fizz Fairy. I've just added the liquid glycerin and now on to now onto the polysorbate 80. Because all things pink in my workshop are usually scented in the Sweet Kiss fragrance oil, I'm gonna make this test with my favorite fragrance oil. Okay, here's my wet mix. It's pretty bright pink, eh? <laughs> Let's put this in the bowl. Slowly, I'm gonna incorporate this to the dry mix and start combining it and kneading it into a dough. And I apologize if you can't hear me well, but I am wearing a mask because SLSA is very airborne and it will irritate your lungs if you don't protect yourself. So here we go.
All right, we have a nice doughy base. <laughs> this is actually kind of fun to squish around. All right, feels like pizza dough or a little bit of a dry, crumbly pizza dough. And I will now push it into my molds. I was just checking if there were air bubbles underneath, but nope, everything looks good. I'm just taking a knife and kind of, oops, evening things out. I'm gonna push this one into my ice cream scooper. And I have my, um, Wax paper here set on a tray. Let's try this. Okay, let's come back in a couple hours and unmold these bubble pops. While I wait for the bubble pops to harden, let's wash the dishes and test the bubbles on this formula. That too will be um, having my kids to test this at home. I'm sure they'll be very happy to be my guinea pigs. I decided to color my second batch of bubble pops with yellow number five from the Fizz Fairy. It's a bright yellow. And to pair with this beautiful color, I am using a lemon curd fragrance oil by Rustic Essential. It is one of my top five fragrances. I got my cocoa butter still slowly melting down. I'm not gonna heat it some more. It's just gonna melt with the residual heat. Then we'll combine all of this together and mix the dough again. Time to mold again. So, It is time to unmold. The last batch I made has been sitting in the mold for a good three hours, and this one probably for four hours. So I'm hoping this has been long enough. Let's see. Yes. Oops, 
still a little sticky, so I'm gonna come back a little bit later and give this one another hour or so to dry, but it fixes up very nicely, very easily. So let's get these on the side and keep going with these. So I have the scoops that are actually really nice and firm to the touch. And I've mixed some mica with some rubbing alcohol and I'm gonna start and kind of uh, let's just chip up the sides and I'm gonna decorate these just like Zahida showed us. Well, here they are, the bubble pops, but these aren't really popsicles because they don't have a popsicle stick. But anyways, <laughs> the bubble bars, the solid bubble bars uh, from Zahida's recipe and the bubble scoops. So cute and perfect. These have been drying for about four or five hours and they are already super hard. I'm really looking forward to testing them in the tub with my kids. I'm sure they will be thrilled. Uh, my design is not nearly as pretty or fancy as Zahida's creations, but this was my first take and I didn't really have any kind of design in mind when I started uh, painting them. So, you know, it's okay for a first try. I'm pretty happy and I'm sure my kids will have fun. So, um, as I said, please make sure to follow Zahida Map from Handmade in Florida. I will leave all of her info below the video in the eye there so you can find her and make sure uh, that you go back, check out her original design and uh, technique on making these amazing bubble bars. I'm not sure that she still has the recipe available at the time. If she gives another class, take it, you won't regret. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.